at these beautiful flowers that one of my babies sent me. And she sent me two dozen. Hold on, I gotta show you guys these. Aren't they absolutely gorgeous? Look at how like they're curly. So pretty. And then some one of my other babies sent me these blue flowers. Blue roses. They're almost dying. Well, they're pretty much dead, but aren't they gorgeous? They still look pretty, so. And I got more bouquets. I'm gonna post for you guys. Shout out to my all my babies that sent me beautiful flowers. She, it came with this card. Cover up her name. Hi, Shireen, here's some beautiful flowers for you. For always being able to find time for us to be there and be patient whenever we are in trouble. You're one amazing woman, and thank you for always helping me. Isn't that gorge? Thank you, baby girl. <clears throat> I'm going to post all my flowers. I, I take pictures of every single bouquet that I get, and I'm going to post them. Anyway, so shout out to each and every one of my babies that sent me a beautiful bouquet of flowers. I, I'm telling y'all, I have to get at least three bouquets a day I've been getting. Between one to three bouquets, sometimes more a day. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I love, my spirits love their flowers. The blue ones are not on my altar now because they're dead. You don't leave dead flowers on your altar, but these I just got, so I'm going to be putting them on my altars. So... All my other flower bouquets are already on the altar, but I did snap pictures for y'all. Okay. So today, you guys, thumbs up this video, please. Good night, Lunar Love. Thank you, Aphrodite. Thank you, baby girl. Okay. So, thumbs up the video, y'all. I'm waiting. I'll wait. 44. Got 86 people in here. Thank you, DPG. Love you, be beautiful. I'm just about to sleep. Love you, queen, for you and your spirits. Grateful for you, as always. Aw, love you, Habibdi. Thank you. Thank you, Yusuf. Love you, Habibdi, you and your spirits for everything, you guys. Aw, Yusuf. Yeah, Amur, how are you not a thing, a moderator? Hold on. It says you are a moderator. Why are you not? Oh, because it's a super chat. Okay. Hey, Marilyn, baby girl. Those are from your sister, Marilyn. Those beautiful flowers. My baby sent me their sisters, their cousins. Thank you, Rita. You guys. Thank you, Habibti. Love you, babe. Thank you, Laugh. Hey, mamas. I did one of your spells of my friend and did your love oil, and they got married. Love you so much. Aw, I'm so happy. You used my love oil? That's amazing. Thank you, babe. Thank you for the super chat as well. Okay, you guys, I'm going to be looking at this spell. Hey, VC. Okay, so today, I love this blowtorch. I'm going to be doing a black cat candle spell. This has got to be one of my favorite candle spells, okay? Now, y'all know Candle work is not my main thing, but it's what I show you guys on here. Thank you, Marilyn. Love you, Habibti. Thank you, Full Moon Tarot. Uh, you know that candle magic is not my main go-to, but it's what I can show you guys on here. So you know I only show you the best candle spells, okay? Uh, I practice sihir, which is very sacred, so I can never teach or show you guys that, or anybody for that matter. But candle work, I can show you and... Only the best. Hey, Sneha Habibti. Okay. So, this is what you're going to need. You're going to need, and thank you for the 555. Sorry if I missed that. Uh, I don't know who sent it. Andy. Thank you, Andy. Not sure if you saw my email, but I lit a candle for you. A Mama Muerte's Temple in Los Angeles. Love you so much. Thank you for everything. Oh, I love you too, baby. You know what? Um, 
I think I did see that and I meant to write you and I honestly, I just got so busy, but I will write you back. Thank you. That was very sweet. Thank you, Christian. Thank you, Tiffany. Aw, Tiffany, girl, you guys, you guys are amazing. For Thank you, Habibti. For those of you watching this video after the live, I'm sorry for the long introduction of me saying hello to my babies. I love them and I have to say hi, but feel free to fast forward to where the spell starts. I'll try to timestamp that for you guys. I know that irritates y'all's soul. It would irritate my soul too, but what can I say? Um, now, oh, by the way, y'all, sorry, shameless plug. I have a new larger money candle. These, my money and love candles, I mean, needless to say, they're fucking amazing. So just FYI, www.arabianconjure.com. Okay, so. What you're going to need is a black candle. You could purchase these online. Um, on Amazon, they have them. They, they usually have them on, at the Botanica. Um, so they're not that hard to find. Thank you, Cam Cole. I was just thinking, yo, I bug myself out. I was just thinking about you, Cam Cole. I miss you, Habibti. Where the fuck have you been, girl? I... I swear I was just like wondering where the hell's Cam Colbin? Jesus. Okay, black cat candle. You're gonna need black cat oil. Now, I make my own black cat oil. It's charging right now, so I'm just gonna use this Botanica black cat oil, which is actually pretty good. I've used it a lot of times before. Uh, I'm gonna be using some cinnamon, okay? And of course, catnip. Can't have a cat candle spell without catnip. And this is optional. These are both optional, the next two items. Uh, bank dirt. This is bank dirt from my country. I have more. This is just the bottom of the thing. I have some in a jar, which no, I don't sell it. Thank you, Christine Gregory. Love and thanks to you and your spirits. Aw, love you, babe. Thank you, Raquel. Aw, thanks, babe. Uh, no, I don't sell my Middle Eastern uh, bank there. This comes from my holy land, from my, my country. And it's I obviously have to have it sent. But this I collected myself when I was over there. But when I run out, I will have to have it sent. And I need it for my oils and my products and my stuff. So, sorry, but before y'all ask, no. Um, now, this is also optional, black cat hair, Okay. I'm blessed enough. I got to put this in an appropriate thing, but we have, we brushed Salem, so I needed to put it in something, and so I put it in this. If you have a black cat, you guys, save their hair. It's very, very good. Now, it doesn't look like black cat hair once it's off of them. It looks a little light-colored. I believe that's because it's their undercoat, but it doesn't matter. If it's black cat hair, it's good. This is from my baby Salem. But this is optional. You don't need this if you don't have it, okay? And you don't need the ba uh, bank card. Oh, also eggshells. Eggshells. And you can use any denomination of money, okay? I have a $100 bill. Look at my Salasun. He's so interested. Um, I have a $100 bill. And I'm going to use two 20s, okay? So three bills, okay? You could use five bills. You could use seven bills. You could use one bill, okay? Just, it doesn't really matter. I'm just using three just because I feel like it. Now, like I said, you could use any denomination, but I try to use more than singles. So anything that's above a single, okay? So a hundred dollar bill and two twenties. Now, what I'm gonna do is use a carving utensil, and I'll just use a pen. You can use a pen, y'all. Oh, by the way, I also have black cat incense. This is also optional, but it's very good to add extra intention. And as you can see, a lot of people think black cat stuff is for bad luck. You can use black cat um, oil and things like that for bad. You have to bless it for that. Anything that can 
harm, anything that can heal can harm. Anything that can do positive things can do negative things, okay? So if you look, you'll see that it says, well, here's the prayer. Don't forget me, love me forever, you know, blah, blah, blah. So it's good for attraction in general, okay? Love and money, believe it or not, okay? So I'm going to use a little of this incense. I'm going to burn it on my charcoal disc. You can use any fast luck incense, fast money incense, any kind of money attracting incense. But try to use an applicable incense, okay? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, I bless this cat candle for luck, fast luck, fast money, abundance, and success. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, I bless this candle for fast luck, fast money, and success. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, I bless this cat for fast luck. Fast money and success. 11 11, make a wish. Amen. Okay. <clears throat> that was good luck. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm simply going to put, I'm going to use one of my baby's names as a example in this spell. Name and date of birth. Okay, I'm gonna turn it to the right and I'm gonna cross her name with the words fast Luck, fast money, fast abundance, and fast success. Okay, turn it again to the right. Fast luck, fast money, fast abundance, fast success. Okay, one more time. Fast luck, fast money, fast abundance, fast success. All right, do it till you make, like you bring it all the way back around. Now it's back facing up one more time and then that's it. Fast luck, fast money, fast abundance, fast success. Okay? Now. What you're going to do is you're going to go around this with seven dollar signs, okay? If you feel a different number is better luck for you, like three, eleven, whatever you feel, use it, okay? You don't have to, you know, think too deep. Somebody else sent me $49.99. Thank you, Lauren G. Uh -huh. Wait, no, is that you? Thank you for you too, babe. And somebody else sent me $49.99. Can y'all help me out here? Who was it? Um, Queen Leo, thank you so much for your help and for always being there for me. No matter what, you're the best. And I can't thank you and your spirits enough for everything that you do. I love you, girl, so much. Bless you. Aw, Habibti, love you, baby girl. Thank you. You guys are so sweet and generous. Thank you, Lauren G. I said thank you. Okay. 
Now, so you did all that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around this petition because that's what it is. It's a petition when you do that. And I'm going to go clockwise around it with $7 signs. One, two, three, four, five, six. I made a complete circle with seven dollar signs, okay? Now, what I'm going to do duh, sitting right next to me, I'm going to take my black cat oil. Now, if you don't have black cat oil, you could just use money oil, crown of success oil, Fast Luck Oil, okay, which I'm going to use a combo. I'm going to use my Black Cat Oil as well as my, this is a mix of my Crown of Success and Money Oil. So I'm going to use both. I bless this Black Cat Oil. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, I bless this Black Cat Oil for fast luck, fast money, fast abundance, and fast success. Two, one. Make sure you have fast luck, fast money, fast abundance, and fast success. I'm also gonna use my mix of crown of success and money oil. I like to mix up my oils, makes it easier. I bless this crown of success oil in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. I bless this crown of success oil for fast luck, fast money, fast abundance, and fast success. Thank you, Sophia. Love you, Habibti. Okay. Now. Uh, this is my cinnamon. It's, it's cinnamon. It's written in Hebrew because it's from my country. But put it in my hand to bless it. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. I bless the cinnamon for fast luck, fast money, fast success, and fast abundance for born May she be blessed with fast money, fast luck, fast abundance, and fast success. Inshallah. Okay. Same thing with my bank dirt. Again, optional. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, I bless this bank dirt for fast luck, fast money, fast abundance, and fast success for born. May she be blessed with abundance, fast luck, fast money, and fast success, inshallah. Catnip, of course. Now, we all know cats love catnip. My, I have to hide this from Salsoon or he'll knock it over to get high. My son is a, is a drug addict. He's, a, he's addicted to catnip. You, should, you guys should see him when he gets into it. It's so funny. It's hilarious. He'll, get, he'll roll around on the floor, eat it, whatever, and then he'll get knocked out. Little attic. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, I bless this catnip to attract, to call in fast money, fast luck, fast abundance, and fast success for born. May she attract fast luck, fast money, fast abundance, and fast success, inshallah. Sorry, this 
to me all this way. Now, a little bit of black cat hair. You hear, you hear that thump? That was salsoon. You just need a little tiny bit. You don't need that much. In the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Ghost, I bless this black cat hair to attract fast luck, fast money, fast abundance, and fast success. Inshallah to born. May she attract fast luck, fast money, fast abundance, and fast success. You could stick it to the candle or you could put it where wherever. It doesn't matter. Okay, you just need a little bit. You can put it around the spell. You could put it on the candle. It doesn't matter. Okay, and just a little bit of eggshells to protect the money that's coming in. This one's running low, but I got plenty more. I bless this eggshell. of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Ghost, I bless this eggshell to protect her fast luck, her fast money, her fast abundance, and her fast success. Protect it as it comes in so that nobody can interfere with it. Inshallah. It makes such a mess. Okay. Now, what you're going to simply do is you're just going to take the bills and you're going to put her initials or your initials, okay, to represent bringing the money to her. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, I bless this bill to come back to, to attract to. May she receive fast luck, fast money, fast abundance, and fast success, inshallah. This one here. Okay, same with this one. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, I bless this bill to be attracted to, born, May she attract fast money, fast love, and fast success, inshallah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, I bless this bill to attract fast luck, fast money, and fast success to... May she attract fast money, fast luck, abundance, fast success, fast luck. Use a green pen, gold pen, yellow pen. Okay, it doesn't matter how it looks. It could just be, I would prefer them staying nice and flat, but. Justin folded it all up. Maybe if I put it under this, I don't want to the whole shit over. Okay, that's okay. However, doesn't matter. Okay? There we go. Okay, and that's it, folks. That's really it. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, I bless this black cat candle spell to attract fast luck, fast money, fast abundance, and fast success to... Inshallah. Peace.
Can you guys see the flame? That is a big ass flame, y'all. Sorry. So ghetto. Look at the size of that thing. And that is it, y'all. You let this burn down, okay? After this, the wax burns down, whatever is left, take the remnants and bury it in a nice spot. As for the money, of course, you would spend it, okay? Now, you can also either spend the money or, you know, keep it in your wallet for however long and spend it like any other money. You, you put the initials and you blessed it to come back to you, right? Or you could put it on your altar. If you have an altar, a money altar in specific, put it on your altar. And that is about it, folks. I would really thoroughly appreciate you guys liking this video as well as subscribing to my channel. Thank you, Blood Moon. <sighs> Roya Khan, you sent me an email. Please re reply back. My assistant will reply. Oh, by the way, let me just say something. Gabby's really good at responding. For people that want to work with me, y'all need to be patient. And if you can't do that, if, you know, then I would prefer you don't come to me for work. Because if you can't be patient to get a response from my assistant, who is very, very, um, quick with it then i don't know how we're gonna work together because i require patience so um i actually had somebody leave a comment under a testimonial on facebook and basically said hi shireen uh i need to speak to you and not through gabby hey raymond um, and please make an exception. You'll understand why I, I didn't respond because it's, it's not fair. I understand if you want to work with me and I appreciate it. I thoroughly appreciate it. And, um, don't take me the wrong way. However, you know, it's not fair to the people who booked months in advance to work with me. If I just, you know, call you and, and talk to you on my own time or email you and get that situation, however, whatever, whatever you guys' expectations are, it's not fair to the people that pay for a console and wait. So, you know, I have to be fair. Um, so, this thing always freezes me with the ugliest faces. So, please understand that and, and respect it. And I understand if you have to go elsewhere because you have to wait or whatever. I totally understand. Um, but it, it just is what it is. Another thing, uh, love jars, whatever is left, um, the new ones that came in, they will be going out uh, shortly after the full moon and the prosperity jars. And... Um, yeah, if you order a prosperity jar or a love jar, please allow me 30 days to get them out as I work them for several days, okay? And they have to be worked under a full moon. So, again, if, if you guys don't have patience, there's other people out there. There really is. So, not to be rude or anything or ungrateful. I work, I don't half-ass shit. 
I work a certain way. I don't like to take too many people at once, so I don't have to actively work too many people at once because I want to get the proper amount of time and energy to everything. So if you order a bracelet, if you order something that needs to be charged under a new moon and full moon, I'm very clear to allow up to four to six weeks so that I can charge it properly. If y'all want a half-assed charged bracelet or a half-assed charged anything, that's fine. I could say it's easier for me to send it out faster. But if you want your money's worth, please be patient. Okay. Anyways, um, and Martyr, where'd she go? Martyr S. Uh, where is she? I just saw her. Hey, Patrona. I just saw her. Mar, Mar, B R T R S. Girl, I didn't forget about you, FYI. Uh, you should be getting your quote tomorrow. Thank you, Stardust. Hey, boo, can you make a video for a love interest to lose fears and stop overthinking everything? And also a video of how to use your love chumse, love candle. You are the best. I love you. Aw, thank you, beautiful. Thank you for the super chat, and I definitely will. I definitely will. Really, all you have to do is light the love candle and focus on your intention. And you can even carve your name in his name. Carve your name and date of birth and the target's name and date of birth and your intention, your petition on it. Melt the bottom, stick it, and light it. Or you could put it in a, if you put it in like a little bowl, it'll it'll even last longer. Um, but yeah, it's very simple. It's already been blessed. It's already been charged. It's already has all the ingredients in it. You just carve your name. And you don't even have to do that. If you just light it and focus on your intention, that's even good enough. Speak your intention. The best way to do anything is to light your spell Focus on your intention, speak your intention, and move a muscle. Move it in a, if you're bringing in, move it in a clockwise. If you're taking away, counterclockwise. That's why you always see me with the incense going around, okay? Focus on your intention, speak your intention, move a muscle. Let it burn down. You could either bury it or just, you know, throw it away. Thank you, Prosperity Carter. Shout out to you, Shereen. Much blessings and abundance to you. Thanks for blessing us with this money info. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for your super chat, babe. I love you guys all. Can you use hot foot oil in a blockbuster candle? No. If it feels, well, listen, my opinion, no. But if it feels right to you, babe, you can use it. If, if it feels right to you and you're do, using a blockbuster to get rid of a specific person or thing, I mean, you can if it feels right to you. Me personally, no, blockbuster oil. Um, but you can make a blockbuster oil and it's very simple. You just use a carrier oil, olive oil is perfect, salt, pepper, cayenne, chili powder, sulfur. I like to put a key to like for unlocking, like opening up rows to unlock things. A key preferably that was used, that you've used to unlock something before. Um, so yeah, and I hope none of you think I'm rude that I said to be patient and wait for a response. I'm just keeping it a buck. Oh, and for those of you who missed your reading appointments that are no shows, uh, that's really frustrating, okay? I end up having to spend my day off making up for it when it wasn't my fault that you missed the appointment. I'm getting really, really tired of spending my one day off every week reading people who, who just miss their appointment without letting us know, without just a no-show. Not going to keep doing it. You guys can, you know, I can technically forfeit the reading. I'm, it's clear as day in my policy. No cancellations, no refunds, no, no rescheduling for no shows. Thank you, Loving Life. Thank you, Prosperity Carter. But I'm, I feel bad, so I do it anyway, but it's very annoying. Very annoying. Thank you. Where can I get black cat oil, black cat candle, and hair from? Amazon, babe. Just Google it. 
Why was Lux timed out? Aw, thanks, girl. Martyr. Mar. You. Mar. Batar. Why did you guys time out Lux? Florence, would I know? Oh, fat finger. Would I know if somebody pays me to do working on an innocent person? Of course I'll know. Of course I'll know. That's why I do a consultation. My son, Jalen, is so infatuated with you. Love, Waikisha. Aw, Jalen. Thank you for the super chat. Jalen. Is he cute? Send him my way, girl. No, I'm just kidding. But thank you, Jalen. Love you. And I love your mom, too. But what was I saying? Anyway, I hope you guys don't think I'm rude for those of you who, are, you know, whatever. But I'm just keeping it real. I can't. I can't be nothing but me. Hey, Brandon. Love you, my handsome friend. He's so handsome. My Brandon is so... Look at Brandon, y'all. Mashallah. He's a, isn't he like the most handsome? He reminds me of like an Amber Crombie and Fitch model. Anyway, I love you so much. And I will see you guys in the next video. Toodles, bitch.